Yo guys, what's happening? Welcome back to another video here on Nasha Vox. Today I'm doing a review on what i what my thoughts were on Fort Park's Oktoberfest event. Now, when you're watching this, it is the last day of Oktoberfest, so by the time you're watching this, you're probably not gonna go see it. But I thought I'd let you know what I thought. So let's kick off with my expectations. I originally did not have high expectations for it the only reason i went is because a lot of people had recommended it to me and i just needed to see what all the hype was about really and was did it exceed my expectations yes it did it exceeded my expectations the atmosphere was absolutely brilliant like it felt like Fort had created an event which just felt right for once you know Fright Nights always feels right but in the past couple of summers they've had you know Love Island Lates, Summer Nights, Island Beats and all sorts and Zombie Hunt as well I think this was the first event in the sort of six years I've been going to Forp that I genuinely felt like an event felt like it should have been happening um, but let's move on to what is that Oktoberfest. So the main festival centre, as it's called, takes place in the dockyard from outside the Ghost Train shop all the way up to just before the Burger King at Old Town. Now, it's decorated really well. You know, you've got bunting, you've got music. Can I just say the park-wide audio is absolutely brilliant. I think it's a mix of underscore and Nick Hudson. So um, shout out to those guys, those guys for uh, creating a a package. And that's the best thing to call it, a complete package. Also in the festival center, you have got loads of like food stalls uh, and the main beer bar, as well as the, the Bavarian um, arms just down where um, Wilderness Bar and Kitchen normally is. Now, there is a stage there, okay? The first criticism I have to give to this event, and it really hurts me that I have to give this criticism, is that there was a lack of live entertainment, okay? Now, yes, you did have roaming actors, and these roaming actors were absolutely brilliant. Shout out to the Fort Parks uh, entertainment team for putting that together. But, but... There was only really live entertainment on there uh, on the weekend days, which meant the area felt a little bit, it lacked something during the week. Now, if Fort Park is to bring Oktoberfest back for 2021, which I really hope they do because I think they, they've had a, they've took a win from this one. Uh, if anything, they need to change for next year. I think they need to put more live entertainment on. Um, maybe like during the week you have a singer or something. You look at Alton Towers, they had entertainment on there every single day. Whereas Thorpe only had it on the weekends. So, Thorpe, if you're watching, take all our criticisms to improve the event and please bring it back next year. Um, obviously, Oktoberfest uh, on the weekends does uh, give guests the opportunity for night rides before Fright Nights, and I was happy with that, you know, it's only 10am till 8pm, so it's not like 10am till 10pm like in previous years, but the fact that I got a night ride on Colossus and Saw, you know, and for once Colossus was actually slightly smoother to an extent, but um, yeah, just in general, like, the atmosphere was brilliant, especially at night, um, I had just finished doing like uh, the night rides about probably 10-15 minutes before uh, the end of the night. So I spent the last 15 minutes with a couple of people I knew um, and just had a wonderful atmosphere, singing, dancing and it felt like it felt like a concert. It felt like, it did, it felt like we were at a festival that got cancelled and it was brilliant. And I really hope Fort Park do more of these sort of like 
atmosphere slash live music events. Obviously, they have done live music events in the past. Uh, those who remember back in 2015, they had uh, something called Island Beats, which, yes, Island Beats was a mix of night lives and an upcharge concert, but they had two stages there that year. They had the main stage down by Cantina, where uh, that year My Bloody Valentine would be, uh, which had like big acts like Little Mix, Rizzle Kicks, uh, which was an upcharge, I think, about about, about 10 to £15. Pound. And then you had a little mini stage down by Tidal Wave with like local acts. And like in the past, I think they had a sh summer showcase, which was in the dome, and they used to have live music. That was like 2013 14. Um, but yeah. Me personally, do I think Oktoberfest is going to come back in 2021? Yes, I think they should bring it back, and I think they will. Um, and can I just talk about Umpa Rapids? The little sort of mini re-theme of um, Rumba Rapids for Oktoberfest. The music, as I've said earlier, the music across the park is brilliant. I feel like maybe next year expand it into the whole park, because the audio was only sort of entrance... Festival Centre, Detonator, Rumba Rapids or Umpa Rapids, and then it sort of faded out. So um, hopefully next year they'll expand in audio being completely park wide, a bit like with Fright Nights, how it's completely park wide. Anyway, guys, let me know what you thought of Oktoberfest. Did you experience Oktoberfest uh, 2020 at Fort Park? Did you like it? Obviously, I didn't get to experience the Alton Towers one, but hopefully, if they bring it back next year, they will do it. Anyway, guys, I've been Nasha. This has been another video on Nasha Vlogs. Uh, just to tell you, there will be a Fright Nights construction update coming out within the next couple of days, because while I was there, I did um, film one. Anyway, like, comment, and subscribe. Guys, I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.